Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano in Boston, uh, but I'm not in Boston today and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. I'm coming to you today from Los Angeles because I'm here at VidSummit, which is a creator conference for YouTube creators and social media creators to help them grow. Since I am in Los Angeles, I am all the way across the country. I wanted to take you guys on the journey of packing and you can see what I brought and I want to show you exactly how much I used while I was in Los Angeles so uh, you could get an idea of like, is packing light? Did I really need all that stuff? So uh, you guys can see what happened at the end. Before we get started, I want to give a big ol' shout out to my sponsor, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. I am a huge believer in Skillshare because I am a huge believer in lifetime learning. You guys know I went to school way too long. I love learning. It's a thing. Get on it. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. These are things like uh, Photoshop, writing, drawing, painting interior design. <laughs> and what's great about Skillshare is if you are a premium member, you can download the classes. So I've downloaded a few of my classes to watch on the plane because y'all know the plane Wi-Fi is a lie. It's a lie. So I can learn while I'm flying and I love, I, I've taken four of the <laughs> online learning classes of interior design and they've all been great. I am uh, totally obsessed. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, your creativity, or even your career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. The best thing about Skillshare is that it's incredibly affordable, especially compared to in-person classes and workshops. It's less than $10 a month for the annual subscription. Because Skillshare is sponsoring today's video, you guys can get a two-month trial completely free by clicking the link down below in the description. So go try it out. It is awesome. I love Skillshare. Personally, I love Skillshare. It is the best because you're your girl. She likes to learn. She likes a little new neural pathway making. I love that. I'm into that. It's my thing. <laughs> So thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video, and now let's get on to the packing. Oh, Clover, are you gonna help me pack? You're walking on all my clothes with your little dirty feet. Can you can you get away, please? Okay, so hello, hello. So let's pack for Fit Summit. So these are the clothes I'm gonna bring. These are the under things I'm gonna bring. And today I'm going to bring my carry-on. Boom, by Eagle Creek. So just a disclaimer, probably a lot of these products that I will be featuring in this video might not be available anymore. Um, but if there's something similar, I will link it down below on my Amazon shop um, and in the description. Um, the reason is I, use these things and I use them for a long time. Like I feel like I've had this suitcase for at least um, 12 years and it's from Eagle Creek. I love all of these things that I'm using and I want to give you guys my tips for um, going through TCA, TSA really fast. All right, Clover, you good? My best advice for packing um, as light as you can is to wear the bulkiest clothes to the airport. So um, tomorrow I'm gonna to be wearing these comfy outfit with jeans and a sweater and a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. I just wanna be able to take layers um, so that I can go through TSA quickly so that I can, if I need to take off layers. And another, another great tip is to make sure to dress up so that you can dress down because when you go through security at the airport, they'll probably want you to take your shoes off, take any um, outer layers off. So make sure that that comes off really easily and you're not gonna have a problem like um, lace up shoes are like no bueno for me anymore at TSA. I just want slip on so I can slip them on, slip them off and make sure you wear socks <laughs> because you don't wanna go through TSA with no socks on. I mean, you can, but like, it's not my first choice. So since I'm taking a lot of things that are like kind of blousy, I wanted to make sure that I um, looked less casual this year. I want to look more stylish and cute because I was super sweatpantsy last year. So I'm going to take this sort of outfit and I picked out some outfits that can sort of go with every jean and like shoe combination I'm going to bring and I'm only going to bring one additional pair of shoes. So I'm going to keep these on the hangers because I can just hang them up in my hotel when I get there and I'm gonna keep the jeans on the hangers too so you can see there's jeans on the hanger as well and I'm gonna use my Eagle Creek 
this is a folding garment bag and I've loved this for a long time too. It has like triple fold and what you do is you go ahead and hang your clothes up on these little hooks here. You can like, hang this whole thing in the closet when you get to your hotel as well. Super convenient. So you put your clothes in there, you fold them on up and this keeps them from getting too wrinkled as well. It's really for like, you know, a suit or something. But um, I like to use these for just regular tops. And you fold, and then you fold again. Woo! And then you're done. There we go, and it's pretty flat. And you can put this right in your bag, and boom, you're ready to go. So that's kind of my first layer down here in my suitcase, and I'm gonna take one more pack, uh, packing cube, and this one is going to be from the brand. So I have this really awesome tiny packing cube from Compass Travel Accessories, Compass Rose Travel Accessories. And I'm going to put all of my little sockies and underwear. And I only took as many underwear as I needed, but here's a tip. I'm going to take some detergent. <laughs> So if I need to wash an underwear in the sink, if like things get really desperate, I can definitely do that. But I don't want to take more than I actually need, like one for every day. So I, and I have one pair of pajamas because let's be real. <sighs> Am I going to need one more pair, of, more than one pair of pajamas? No, probably not. But I will take an additional bra because sometimes you get all sweaty, you know, and you want to like change your bra. And I have a little bralette. And of, of course, like I told you, I do have a delicates wash that I carry with me on vacations, a little sample. So what happens with these little cubes is they're great. You can just zip them right on up. And there you have a nice little packet for your skivvies. I'm gonna shove that right on the bottom there because I think I have a little room. I'm gonna put my shoes, I think, on maybe like either side of here. Mm -hmm. There, they're kind of hanging out on the sides there. So I'm gonna need to put some toiletries and makeup in here. So I'm gonna grab my toiletry bag. all of my goo so goo or like liquid items that have to go in their own clear container uh, to go through security I do have a very um, a rather fancy bag for them to go in you do need a quart sized bag clear bag for them to go in zipping it needs to zip um, this is from Anya Hardmarch it's like designed to be a uh, TSA bag I've never been stopped yet because of this bag but it is rather fancy it was a very nice uh, anniversary gift uh, from my husband and uh, I was it an anniversary birthday? no it was for my birthday gave me it's my birthday so I'm a very lucky gal it has two uh, compartments one larger compartment in the front and one smaller compartment in the back that says touchdown take off very cute and it looks like a panda I mean come on it's ridiculously expensive but you know YOLO so uh, let's see how much of my goo fits in here, but um, I'll tell you guys what I'm taking. I have, I, I've tried to, to minimalize this down because I love products and I love to take products with me when I travel, but I don't end up using most of them, so I've tried to minimize them. So I have a foundation that I'm going to take with me, but it's liquid foundation, so I need to put that in the liquids bag. I've got a, uh, what's this, a primer for the foundation and also a moisturizer. Uh, the primer has the SPF, so we're gonna just rely on that for the SPF. And I also have my makeup brush cleaner. This is from Cinema Secrets. It works pretty well. And then I've got my hair gel. I've got it in a little Nalgene jar. Is that not the cute? These Nalgene jars are the best because they're just, they're leak proof. So nothing's coming out of there. So very reliable. I have a smaller one for another hair gel. I've got hair cream. I've got facial cleanser. This is Neutrogena facial, facial cleanser, but I've just put it in this travel-sized bottle. I've got some 
eye makeup remover. This is essential because y'all know how hard it is to remove like eyeliner and mascara. So I've got that separate. It's like an oily eye makeup remover. This is another sample of a, of a facial cleanser. I think I'm gonna put it on the bottom though. And this is the delicate wash that I was telling you about, the laundry wash in case I need to wash the underwears. I do have a sample of this. This is the Laundress. You can actually buy these little samples from laundress.com, um, but you know, you don't have to. It's rather fancy. You can get travel sizes of Tide or whatever, but when I like to travel fancy. You know, I like to feel fancy when I travel. Got some face oil for the evening. This is a Bio Essence. 100% squalane oil. I don't particularly love this brand. I just happen to have a small size, so I'm just gonna pop in there. It's it's nice. I don't think it's awful. Um, this is the Soap and Glory Clean On Me Cle Creamy Clarifying Shower Gel. It's just a shower gel, nothing special. Pop that in there. And then some Listerine. It's a weird color because I poured some of the green in with the purple and it made this weird like green, but you know, hey, it's still Listerine and works well to clean your breath. And then we've got some toothpaste, so we'll throw that in there, and then body lotion. So we're gonna put that right on top here. Gonna try and fit everything in. Everything in fits pretty well, actually. And we're gonna shut him. And maybe if I'm feeling kind of fancy, I'll grab maybe a face mask and put her in there too. Um, but I'm just gonna grab my little delicate wash and my little kale and green tea wash and put that in there. Perfect. And that is my TSA traveling liquids bag. So I think you're limited to three ounces uh, or something like that. So that don't carry, you know, big things of <laughs> lotion or anything like that. But um, I'm going to put this right in my suitcase. Usually when I have these um, toiletries, I like to put them right at the top there just so that it's easy to get to and I need to take it out for going through TSA uh, because you are supposed to take this out and put it on the little the little tray and then go through security because they'll scan it. So that's that. Now you guys know how I am with my makeup. I love it. I think it's fun and I usually like to take a lot with me when I travel but not this time, not this time because I'm not going to I'm not, I don't need that much variety on a very short trip. I'm going for three days, uh, no, four days and three nights. So not, I mean, it's come on. <laughs> so, but I am gonna take my little makeup bag here that I got, my mother-in-law gave this to me and it says, <laughs> people I wanna meet, dogs. I'm gonna put my brushes in first. I'm just taking a foundation brush, a blush brush, a powder brush, and like, maybe like a highlighter brush and also an extra um, sh shader brush and a blending brush for my eyes. And I'm gonna put those down the bottom. And then I'm gonna take my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. This actually comes with a brush inside, which is awesome, but this is my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time. If I don't know what to do with my life, I always reach for this one. I've actually hit pan super hard on one of those shades there. So you can see I use this an awful lot. I really, really, really like this palette. And for blush, I'm gonna use the Narcissist. Which palette is this? This is the Unfiltered One palette. I do think they still sell this one, but it's got a highlighter in it too, so I don't need to take a separate highlighter. We'll throw that in there. And I've got mini sizes of everything else I need. So I've got a mini sized eyeliner. I've got a mini sized liquid eyeliner and I've got a mini sized primer and a mini sized mascara. So all of my samples are going with me. I've got a little eyelash curler which is always helpful. Something to get my brows right. A little tiny itty bitty sample of pressed powder. A very, very tiny lip balm. This is the By Terry Balm de Rose. By the way, this is like fancy lip balm. We love her. And I've got a little tiny, uh, tiny, tiny thing of loose powder because I, I like that Too Faced peach powder, but I don't want to take that big container. So I got this little tiny, it's a pill container, but it works great for powder and it just screws open like that. I mean, it's gonna be a mess to use, but who cares? Oh my gosh, it's going, can you see it? It's going all on the lens. We're just gonna shut all of that stuff up in there. Bam! 
all of our makeup. We're gonna put her right there in the bag. And all we need is our body care products. All right, in this bag, it's a separate little Sephora bag. I got my laundry bag. This is the best thing I've ever purchased. This was from the container store. I do think they still have these. This is from the brand Rice and Tell. And it is one of my favorite things from when I travel. I put all my dirty clothes in it and then um, I don't get them mixed up with my clean clothes when I come home if I don't have the laundry service there or something like that. So it's really handy. I got this little divided box for all of my earrings, hair accessories. Well, can you see it? I don't know. There, you can see all of my little doodads inside. I got hair accessories, earrings, a brush for my ring when I clean it, and it's in this little divided box. So cute. I've also got a mini deodorant, and my toothbrush is going to go in here. It's still charging, so I'm not gonna put it in here, but this is my Sonicare toothbrush um, traveling kit. I do, if you have a Sonicare toothbrush, you don't really need to charge it very often, maybe like once every two weeks or something like that. Um, so it'll say charge while I'm on my trip. So I'm gonna pop that right in there. Wow, so now we've got room for extras. And my extra thing that I'm gonna take is my Simple Human uh, sensor mirror for traveling. And I, I realize this is so extra, but I love this thing, I'm addicted to it. So then when you get close to it, it turns on. Is that not the best? It's so good. So I've got everything in my bag here. Everything fits really well, and I'm gonna shut it inside. And there's room to bring home some swag if I get some swag. There's still some room in here for me to like shove things in. Not that I want to, because there's definitely room on the side on this in this compartment here. Um, and there's a compartment here which I didn't put anything inside. So there's room to put like if I got a T-shirt or something, um, I can just put it inside this, and it will be fine. All right. We are ready for takeoff. I'm also packing my electronics because um, I am a YouTuber and I need to pack electronics and things like that. So I have this bag from Eagle Creek. I do believe this is also discontinued, but there are so many bags that are similar to this and I believe Eagle Creek makes an even better one right now. Um, but this is a great bag for traveling because it has the little sleeve in the back so you can put it on your luggage. And in the front, it's got these two awesome pockets so you can like reach for stuff really quickly. And it's got a sleeve inside for your laptop, which we are definitely gonna be using because I'm taking my laptop with me. So we've got my laptop here and we're gonna just slide her into the sleeve. So when we go through security, we will need to take it out of the sleeve, but that's not gonna be a problem. Because I'm an anxious flyer, I am um, gonna take my Nintendo Switch uh, it's a nice distraction while we're um, taking off, landing, where there's turbulence, so that I don't focus on um, that stuff. <laughs> because um, I guess I, you know, I'm a very anxious flyer. So this is a really nice carrier I have for my Switch, and I'm gonna put them in there. And I also have this little um, stand for the Switch, so it can also charge while I'm playing it um, on the airplane tray or whatever. And I can take off the Joy-Cons you know, do whatever I need to do. And you can still put the charger in here. I also have this battery pack for the Switch. I'm just gonna keep it with the Switch. So because I create videos for a living, I do need to take a camera with me. So I'm taking my very tiny vlogging camera and this super duper tiny tripod with me. We will be getting a, a tripod at Vid Summit, but I have a lot of cords. And uh, the good thing that you can do is make sure that you have something to carry all your cords in that sort of is semi padded. I have all of my different cords. This is one of my favorite things is this Belkin uh, like power strip, travel power strip. So it's got three of the little outlets and it's got two USBs on the side. So I'm also gonna take with me in my little bag um, an empty water bottle. So you can't take a full water bottle through TSA because you can't carry more than three ounces of liquid, but you can definitely take an empty water bottle. So I am taking my Swell water bottle because this can hold warm and cold beverages. So when I'm in the conference, I'm gonna want a drink of water and I'm probably gonna not wanna pay for bottled water. So I will fill it up with my Swell water bottle and I will never be thirsty in the conference learning about creating videos. Yay, I'm ready to go. A little nervous, but it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have fun in LA. Guess who has to go to the babysitter in a few hours? He's little, <laughs> his babysitter's gonna watch him for until 
Friday, so I'm gonna miss him so much. Clover, I'm gonna miss you. I shut my eyes, All right, so not it is 7.21 in the morning. It's about four hours before my flight. And uh, I've had fun in my hotel room. Let's see how I did though with the packing and let's see if I can get it all in there as well as I had it in there when I took off from Boston. So here's the realness, you guys. I got all my, well, I got a fun Vid Summit hat that I got thrown uh, from the stage and I caught it. So I won that, I guess. Um, but I've got all my makeup situation right there, my bag. Uh, I've had many cups of coffee from this machine. I got a bundle of cords. Uh, here is my laundry. So uh, it's mostly like underwear, you know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put Nikki looking there. <laughs> Um, this is where the real mess is. <laughs> I've also got some cord action going there. Switch pod box. I really want to take this because this is like super nice packaging. Um, like this is very much quality packaging. So I think I'm going to try and take this. Maybe I'll try and put some things inside it. So, I mean, I don't really have a reason to put the switch pod back in here ever because it, 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 it just folds up so small. Um, but this is super a lovely box. I, I don't know if I can really... We'll see, we'll see. I mean, there's really no reason for me to have the box. Like, let's be honest. And let's take a look at the mess in the bathroom. So the bathroom's really like where the mess is mostly. <laughs> um, but I can put all that stuff back. I really, I used this mirror more than I used my sensor mirror, gotta be honest. I may not take that next time. Uh, I don't have anything left in the shower. I do have my clothes hanging up in the closet here. Um, I wore everything but this sweater. I did wear this under um, shirt but just with the bigger sweater, I wore this, but I did not wear this. I did some swag bag and my little pass there. Um, so inside, inside this bag is a little bit of a mess. So let's go ahead and try and organize this. Okay, I don't think that I did too badly. I got everything in there, the new swag, the, I can't keep the Switch Pod box. I'm sorry, Pat and Richie and Caleb, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, uh, I got everything and I'm ready to go. Let's just do one last pass. I'm gonna wear that. So I can't leave without that. I didn't leave anything over here. Didn't leave anything over here. Uh, that's food, nothing, nothing. I didn't put anything in the drawers because that's a sure way to get stuff lost, you know? Nothing in the closet. I already checked that and I don't think there's anything in the bathroom either. <gasps> Uh-oh. Look, see? Yay for double checking. <laughs> All right, so it is time to check out. How sad. But I want to go back to Boston to see the bean and uh, I wonder how the plants are doing. I left them like on their own. I'm like, may the odds forever be in your favor. No, I, I watered them and everything before I left, so hopefully they're fine. We have the bean. He's so excited to be home. He looks really tired though right now. He's bringing me all those toys, but I think he should be more concerned about sleeping right now. Bean, how are you doing? Are you happy to see me? Yeah? You were just rolling around on the couch like a crazy person, like you like you had just had a bath or something like that. Oh! <laughs> Hi! Hi! Oh my gosh! 